I'm walking these 60 miles in these three days in Debbie's memory and to help those who are being treated and who will need treatment for breast cancer. This is my wife, Debbie Zinzer. She was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 35 and died on June 21, 2012 at 62 years young. Debbie's cancer had been in remission for a number of years. One Saturday, the doctor was looking at some tests to see if he was going to perform surgery for what appeared to be a collapsed lobe in her lung. He looked across the counter at us and he said, there's no need for the surgery. You don't have a collapsed lung. You have cancer. It's come back. When Debbie was diagnosed, we had a long talk about the places and things we hadn't done. The best trip we had was that first one after her diagnosis. We spent time in Japan and Malaysia. So we decided as her health deteriorated, we would still continue to travel just as much as we could. Travel became part of our everyday life as we tried to squeeze in the whole world whatever time she had left. Reverend Carrie Smith called me up and I, was, I had supported her previously on her walks for Komen. And she said to me, Joe, you've got to do this walk, now go sign up. And I began signing up and recruiting people to support me to raise the funds to walk in the three-day, 60-mile Komen race for the cure. I think there's nothing more rewarding than a cheering section that just erupts when you walk by. They congratulate you. There is ministry from people on sidewalks as they hand you cold water or chewing gum or candy or maybe just applaud. There are men standing next to vans dressed in pink just cheering for their wives and sisters and daughters when they walk by. There's a special ministry, a special camaraderie of being together for a cause. As we follow in the footsteps of these bold and brave survivors toward a world without breast cancer.